Good evening. Welcome to tonight's Bible study. I'm going to read Psalm 149 this evening. I've been wanting to sing a praise to God. And I'll recite it. I won't torture you all with my voice or even try to figure out what the lyric might sound like. But I know what the words sound like. And it starts off, praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song in his praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in her maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with the dance. Let them sing praises to him with the tremble in the heart. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Is the praise of God in your mouth? Are you praising God? Are you joyful to God for all the things that he has done for you. I hope so. I hope that you are singing his praises. He is so worthy to be praised. I could write for months about the wonderful things that God has blessed me with in this short lifetime of mine. It's incredible the things that God has done and all the things that he did behind the scenes to make them happen. I'm sure volumes upon volumes could be written. It's crazy how intricately the Lord has been working all things together. And so he says we should be praising him. Now, there is something else for the people of God. The people of God are the administrators of God's judgment upon those who dwell on the earth. And we should take an active part in that. And so, that is the last three verses of Psalm 149, which is the next to last psalm in the book of Psalms. There's 150 psalms. It says in the second part of verse 6, And, to, and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains, and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute on them the written judgment. This honor have all his saints to be a judge and an executor of judgment. Praise the Lord. If we do what we, we've been called to do, if we do what we've been equipped to do, we wouldn't have this problem that we have today. This anarchy that is rised, raised up against God and against his holy people, we just turn a blind eye. In the name of peace, we let evil prosper. It should not be so. First, let us praise God. Go back to the beginning of this Psalm 149 and praise God for his wonderful works in your life. Praise him all evening long. Praise him with all your heart. He said, a time is coming and now is when the true worshiper will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. 
these are those that the Father seeks. He seeks out people who will worship him in spirit and in truth. Will you be a worshiper for the Lord? He'll seek you out. <laughs> well, I pray that you'll have a blessed night tonight. I'm going to turn in early and get a fresh start tomorrow. I need one. Been up late this week and uh, too many nights. So tomorrow, we'll be back in God's Roadmap, and we'll be talking about the dream. I pray that you will have a blessed night. Also, and that maybe the Lord will give you a dream that will lead and direct your life. So be blessed now in Jesus' name. Bye.